Hi, I wanted to show you um, some of the tools that are inside of uh, Google Meets. Uh, we have some of the advanced features turned on at this point. Um, first of all, you see this toolbar down there. If you don't see it, if you just see a full screen image of yourself, you can click down in this area and it should appear. Right now I have my microphone muted. If I wanted to unmute it, I would click it. And now it would be uh, recording my voice and transmitting it. Um, this button will leave the call, leave the, the hangout or the meet. And this would mute my camera if I didn't want you to see me. I could press that right now and it gives me the icon for my um, username within HSD. I'm gonna bring it back. <clears throat> the other thing that's nice is that you can turn on captions. Sometimes it's tough to hear what everybody's saying when you're in a large group. And so you can see now it is um, basically transcribing my spoken words into text. I'm gonna turn that off. The other thing that's really nice, especially if you are presenting to a group of uh, students or staff, you can hit present now. And what that does is it asks what you wanna present. I'm gonna say the entire screen. It gives me a preview of what my screen would look like. And so I, I, I agree, yes, I wanna share. And so now it's telling me you're sharing to everybody. So what that means is whatever I'm looking at, it could be a different website, it could be um, lots of different things. Um, whatever that is, it will present that to the audience. And so this is a great way that you could do some uh, instructional lessons and things. The other thing that's nice about this, and I'm gonna stop sharing. The other thing that's nice, uh, one of the new features is if you go over to the three dots or the snowman, you have record meeting as an option. So if you wanted to, you could record your Hangout session. And so um, you could essentially use Hangouts Meet as a screencasting tool. Um, again, using the Present Now button, you, you could also have the, the meeting being recorded. What's nice about the recording is that it integrates right into your Google Drive as well. I don't have it recording right now. I'm gonna click that and see what happens. It asks for consent. It's basically a warning to everybody in the Hangout that you are recording it and they would have the option to um, drop out if they didn't wanna be recorded. You can see in the top left, it's showing that it's recording. And again, when I stop this recording, it will um, eventually end up in my Google Drive to review. I think this can be valuable because um, you know, if you have concerns about uh, confidentiality or concerns about, um, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversations with students, this would be a way to record them and have a record of the interaction. Um, it's also, again, you could, you could do a whole uh, flipped lesson using this. The other thing I wanted to show, um, and I experimented with this a little bit, is the ability to use Meet to call someone on their phone and um, essentially have a phone conversation. So I'm logged in with my HSD uh, Google account. And if I go up top here and I say add people, instead of inviting through Google, I would call and then I can type in any phone number, any US phone number here. And once I've done that, I hit call and it will phone them. I tried this with my cell phone. So I was able to call myself from Hangouts Meet to my cell phone to have a conversation. I, I'm not doing a Hangout with my phone. I'm calling my phone and that person on the other end receives the call, the phone rings, they answer it. I communicate through my laptop and they're communicating through their phone. So some, some nice features that... Uh, we're learning about the more we use this. So hopefully this helps and uh, good luck in Hangouts Meet.